Look into the pensive waters of the bay, you will see, is the first line of an old Turkish song. Deep down lies a night from a long, long time ago. Only a night? What endless dreams are reflected on those waters, palaces, castles, quays, gardens, ferries, but most of all, yellows. For those are indigenous to the shores of the Bosphorus. Architectural structures along the water display a great deal of variety all over the world, yet none has the stately presence nor the noble elegance of Yalas. Yala is the name given to the unique waterside mansions, an architectural innovation of the Turks. Along the Bosphorus, the first residences of the kind were royal mansions and pavilions built of brick and stone, located in woods and gardens. These were followed by wooden yalas in the 17th century. The first yalas were permanent residences of Ottoman senior officials and officers. Thus, they were built in neighborhoods such as Salapazara, Fındıkla, and Beşiktaş, close to the sovereign's palaces and within easy commuting distance. Following the launching of the Bosphorus Ferry steamers in 1854, more yalas were built, this time further away along the Bosphorus, in Yeniköy, İstinye, Tarabia, Beyler Bey, Anadolu Hisara, and Kanlıca. In the 18th century landscape of the Bosphorus, they assumed a fairy tale beauty. Here we see a fascinating example in Melling's album. And as of the beginning of the 19th century, with the wealthy merchants from the minorities and the embassies taking residence in Yalas as well, they became a sign of high social status. For the high society and the elite of Istanbul, Yalas served as the ideal summer resorts up until the beginning of the 60s. Of those that are still standing, the oldest is the Amuja Zade Hussein Pasha Yala, dating back to the end of the 17th century. Also called Kupru Luler Yala, this is the oldest wooden building known to us in Istanbul. Despite the continuous changes in the architectural styles, the Yalas of the Bosphorus are often two-story wooden buildings with a ferro-concrete frame situated in big gardens. On each floor, there is a big hall that is surrounded by various sized rooms. In this sense, they differ from the traditional structure of the Turkish house, where the ground floor is mainly used for serving purposes, whereas the upper floors are the residential areas. The Yola has become a social and architectural phenomenon, unique to the Bosphorus. Trees that are indigenous to the Bosphorus, magnolias and stone pines, bring the smell of the Mediterranean. On your ferry of dreams, you pass by Feti Pasha Yala in Közgüncük, and then sail along the Sadula Pasha Yala in Cengilke. You will be enthralled by the perfect proportions and the extraordinary beauty of the paintings and the ornaments. With this magic still lingering in your mind, you see Abut Efendi, Count Ostrarog, Edip Efendi, Seraske Riza Pasha Yalas greet you on your way from Kandili to Vanike. As you sail towards Kuchuksu, the Cypriot Yala welcomes you, a fine example that dates back to the 18th century. The plain elegance of the red ochreous painted Hekimbasha Sali Efendi Yala in Anadolu Hisara the magnificence of Marki Nejip Yala towards Kanlaja, and the white beauty of Princess Rukia Yala in Kanlaja Bay, all standing in splendor. As you glide along the water, you see Royalas in Yenike with an Art Nouveau touch. In Emirgan, you come across one of the most captivating sights of the Bosphorus, Sherifler Yala.
Benin Turabia, a magnificent example of these buildings, Huberiala, used as the presidential residence today. The German, French, Italian, Russian, Spanish, and Austrian embassy buildings are still standing intact. The veil of the evening is yet to cover the Bosphorus, and then night will settle, painting the city in blue. While the waters between two continents will be flowing eternally, a brand new night will begin in the Bosphorus Yalas, in remembrance of dreams past for their new owners.